once Mr. Daddy Longlegs, dressed in brown and grey, walked about upon the sands upon a summer's day. And there, among the pebbles, when the wind was rather cold, he met with Mr. Floppy Fly, all dressed in blue and gold. And as it was too soon to dine, they drank some periwinkle wine, and played an hour or two or more at Battlecock and Shuttledore. Said Mr. Daddy Longlegs to Mr. Floppy Fly, Why do you never come to court? I wish you'd tell me why. All gold and shine in dress so fine, you'd quite delight the court. Why do you never go at all? I really think you ought. And if you went, you'd see such sights, such rugs, such jugs and candlelights, and more than all, the king and queen, one in red and one in green. Oh, Mr. Daddy Longlegs, said Mr. Floppy Fly, it's true I never go to court, and I will tell you why. If I had six long legs like yours, at once I'd go to court. But oh, I can't, because my legs are so extremely short. And I'm afraid the king and queen, one in red and one in green, would say aloud, you are not fit, you fly, to come to court a bit. Oh, Mr. Daddy Longlegs, said Mr. Floppy Fly, I wish you'd sing one little song, one mumby and melody. You used to sing so awfully well in former days gone by, but now you never sing at all. I wish you'd tell me why. For if you would, the silvery sound would please the shrimps and cockles round and all the crabs would gladly come to hear you sing a hum de hum a hum de hum a hum de hum said mr daddy longlegs i can never sing again and if you wish, I'll tell you why, although it gives me pain. For years I cannot hum a bit or sing the smallest song. And this the dreadful reason is, my legs are grown too long. My six long legs all here and there oppress my bosom with despair. And if I stand or lie or sit, I cannot sing one little bit. So Mr. Daddy Longlegs and Mr. Floppy Fly sat down in silence by the sea and gazed upon the sky. They said, this is a dreadful thing, the world has all gone wrong. Since one has legs too short by half, the other much too long. One never more can go to court because his legs have grown too short. The other cannot sing a song because his legs have grown too long. Then Mr. Daddy Longlegs and Mr. Floppy Fly rushed downward to the foamy sea with one spontaneous cry. And there they found a little boat whose sails were pink and grey. And off they sailed among the waves far and far away. They sailed across the silent main and reached the great Grombulian plain. And there they play for evermore at Battlecock and Shuttledore.